It's December the 3rd at 21.29 um, 2021 and this brief upload is with regard to the incessant offences that I'm experiencing on a daily basis that disrespect, as I keep reiterating throughout this documentary, the um, very purpose of a declaration called the Human Rights Declaration and that disrespects the constitution of this democracy. So the incessant efforts, as I've mentioned, of individuals um, that have insulted my good name, character, my reputation, um, my, my work um, that I've shared about and discussed throughout this documentary. There have been many efforts by individuals that have imposed upon me and that have been of theft of many aspects of my livelihood, most namely my child that is a missing person. Um, so when a mother gives birth, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big stage of a woman's life. And when one becomes a married mother, it's a really huge responsibility. And in the, the, in the course of this entire facade of very serious offenses that I've experienced, my role as a mother and a wife has been really, really badly disrespected. So that disrespects the Declaration of Human Rights and the constitution of the country. Now, the issue that I'm raising in this upload is um, with regard to matters pertaining to one particular important aspect um, regarding the medical integrity that hasn't been practiced and also the bodily integrity that has been damaged. So when any human female body is disrespected, disrespected, I consider that an issue. Um, when individuals pursue uh, exacerbation of disrespect to a person's integrity, I consider that an issue. Now, um, as I've mentioned, I've been contacting the ministers um, of this country since 2017, and they haven't contacted me with regard to trespassers onto my property and intruders of uh, breaches of confidentiality and misprescription and misdiagnoses and incessant intrusions of uh, defamation of character that I've been tolerating. So as I live on my own and um, my child is a missing person, my husband is a missing person, there has been awful disruption in this community um, of Tralee County, Kerry, Ireland due to our farm holdings. Now, um, there have been intruders upon my home in Tubridge Hill and Kilflin since 2016 and there have been individuals that have been really disrespectful to women and children's rights. So, as I've mentioned throughout this upload, documentary of uploads, excuse me, um, I've been self-healing from individuals' incompetence and their uh, vain glory efforts to evade um, at all costs um, the responsibility and ownership um, of circumstances that they are not entitled to. Now, there have been individuals, as I've mentioned, that have been taking credit for work that they haven't been accomplishing or achieving. And there have been practitioners that have been assisting treason, hate crime and constitutional wrongdoings. Now, the issue of individuals that have been violating my proximity and protection and that have been damaging my bodily integrity and medical um, matters as well. My health care has been withheld from me and there have been practitioners really, really brazen, thinking they're above the law and disrespecting my royal patronage and my my spiritual purpose and my role as an advocate for sanity and sobriety. So it's quite discomforting when there are trespassers into people's lives and that's a, that's a, that's that's offending the laws that be. It's, it's it's offending people's common sense and integrity as well. So the issues that I'm contending with is um, in contravention of the Declaration of Human Rights and the Constitution of a Democracy. And there are individuals that are falsely claiming to be in a position to challenge the reality of these circumstances when they have um, presented themselves um, in a representation of falsehoods and slander and with that much credibility, that much of substance to their um, slander. So I've been confronted with
has been confronted with um, poor practices, poor procedures and poor behaviours and as an educator and a recovery advocate and of royal patronage, individuals that have intruded upon my privacy and that have trespassed upon my homes in Artford and Kilflin County Kerry are causing very serious disruption to my good work and my personal experiences as a married mother. So this is to establish that the relevant bodies that have been contacted um, with regard to the offences that I've been experiencing um, since 2017 have not duly um, addressed their misconduct. And to this day, there are still issues of individuals of slander and falsehoods that I am still awaiting to be addressed. Um, I don't appreciate people um, thinking they're above the law and disrespecting my good work and disrespecting my home's property and my wealth and my beautiful child that is still a legally missing person. So those people trespassing and overstepping the mark, um, that's quite serious. Um, especially when they're um, of exploitation and when they're living off my wealth. So there's a very serious issues that I'm contending with every day since 2017. Since 2017, I have been onto the relevant bodies of the government um, due to practitioners in this county that have um, that are new faces as well, I might add. Um, my family have a long-standing um, reputation of positive, fantastic contributions to our county. Uh, my family have been here for generations. And there are a few new faces that are of very poor publications, very poor publicity, very poor negotiations as well, I might add, which disrespect the whole role of progress that I initiated in 2018 that I've shared about on the forums online um, for the public knowledge of those that are being presented with a very dangerous uh, fallacy that disrespects the developments in society that have positively affected Ireland and abroad. So those um, of repeat offences um, are ignoring that they are not um, within remit to practice common law. It's as simple as that. Um, treason is at play and royal patronage has been trespassed upon in my uh, farm holdings and in my personal current space, etc, etc. So there's a lot after being disrespected and it um, raises the question about sanity and sobriety in society. And um, as I'm an advocate for the past 15, 16 years, and as I'm an educator for longer, um, I'm highly concerned about the individuals that would threaten the progress um, that I initiated in 2018. Um, any developments that have arisen um, since 2018 are at risk due to liabilities of poor publicity, poor publications and poor negotiations and the trespassing and intruding. I have to relate how this is so serious. Um, these people have just bulldozed into my personal life. They have disrespected my rights.